this? Glover. I remember this game. It. Uh. I can't really remember that much. Anyways, guys. I just smacked my hands together. Why did I do that? Welcome to Let's Play, Glover. Hooray! Don't you can't you just feel the excitement off this game? It, it's so exciting. I've got the European version, even though I lived in America. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyways. This game is simple. It's Glover. It's so simple, it's Glover. So let's start and stuff. <laughs> We're starting a new game, of course. And pressing B instead of A. Because that's what we always do. And in case you didn't realize, my name is Stitches. Which, shortened down, could be Stitch or STI if you want the first three initials. And today we will be playing a normal. Normal. Okay, this game has an amazing story. I mean, it's so complicated and thought out. I mean, just look at those crystals. I bet you didn't even see them. Those crystals around the castle? Yeah, THE castle. It's so important, it has to be THE castle. Oh, who's this? It's the wizard! The wizard who did it, of course. He has some funky gloves. And some funky potions, too. He also has a funky attitude. Everything he does is funky. But of course, an accident happens. Otherwise, we wouldn't have a game at all. A glove gets into the potion, and another glove goes out the window. Oh no! What's happening now? The castle! The crystals! They're coming off! I mean, wait. He has magical powers! He can transform crystals into balls. Lots and lots of balls. What a relief. This is Glover! <laughs> He's the star of a show. And this is Cross Stitch. He's the anti stitches. I mean, the anti Glover. Yeah. And that's the story of the game. And you can hear that creepy laughter in the background and the way the, the place just randomly turn red. Entirely red. Wow. And there we are! And there's a hat. A floating hat. It's called Mr. Tip. And pretty much it's a tutorial thing that I'm not going to go into. Because I can just tell you everything. Anyways, this game. It's a platformer, mostly. Okay, kind of. It, it's kind of weird, actually. You can move. Of course, you can jump. You can double jump. You can point at that ball over there. <laughs> you can go on the ground like this and crawl incredibly slowly. You can jump and smash. Oh yeah, you can also do a cartwheel. Uh, tapping. Z. Doing that. And that's about it. Now, the main point of this game is mostly controlling balls, like this one. You get on it, you get next to it, and you grab it. You grab the balls. Yep. And you can do various things with the balls, too. You can dribble it. You can go for a three-pointer. And finally, oh wait, no, it's not finally, I mean, whatever. You can slap the ball. You can slap the ball around and call it, call it its bitch. Call it your bitch? Uh, I'm bad with vernac vernacular. Anyways, you can come off the ball with Z. You can walk on top of the ball by pressing L. And go back. And finally, you can change the ball. Various other things. And I'll go over everything else later, I guess. But for now, we have to go into this inside part. There was actually no indication that he had to do this. But you actually do have to do this. And you have to take the ball with you. And it goes to that 
random fountain in the middle, and we go whoopee! Give us a, ourselves a thumbs up. Oh yeah, and also we got purple eyes now. Weird. <laughs> and look at that. There's the wizard. He's the he's a fountain now. And apparently you have to like get like seven of these, seven of the balls around him. And that's the game. Yeah, it's pretty much collecting balls. You need to gain balls by the end of the game, you know? <laughs> yep. Millions and millions of ball jokes. I have a lot of them. No, I don't. I suck at jokes. Yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the first level. You have to walk there. Or cartwheel over there. But thankfully, it's right behind us. Was like behind us, but now it's in front of us. Ah, and listen to some awesome music. And we got purple sunglasses and more still. Whee! Okay, and we're on our first level. These, this game isn't really that hard, even on normal, even on normal or even hard mode. Oh well. First thing you gotta do when looking at when you're at a level, find the ball. Here's the ball. Once you're once you have the ball, get on the ball. Get on the ball. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And what are these things? These things are collectibles. I forgot what they're called. They call something really stupid, and you really don't need to collect them at all. In fact, I suppose don't collecting them <laughs> because. And when you collect them all on all the lo I mean on all three levels, you get a special place, which is usually harder. I might go through the special places later, but yeah, they're considerably harder. I think. Whoa! What was that? Uh, oh, there was a little glitch right there. Oh, this thing's back. I forgot to say it, this thing is a checkpoint. You just throw your ball through it, and checkpoint. Anyways, some. Um, I'm not even gonna do that. Let's just get the stupid collectibles. Special stage. Fraggle Fraggles. Fraggle Fragglestein. <laughs> ah. Nice, relaxing music. Nice relaxing level. Very easy game. Very hard game. It's easy and hard at the same time, I tell ya. Ah, this switch right here. This switch, you fist it. I mean, not <laughs> fist it. I mean, smash it. <laughs> you fist it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I laugh at my own jokes. That just happens. It's impulse. I swear. Anyways, at the end of the level, the ball magically disappears, and you dance like a crazy lunatic, and then you get a result screen, like a crazy lunatic. Yep, it's all very crazy. Anyways, whew. There we go. I went through the intro. I went through the first level. I might as well go through a bit of this level. So, this doesn't really look that obvious. These are vents down here. There's water over here. And this, this is, this is very breakable. Yep. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say it <laughs> before I go. That, <laughs> this is really funny. He's <laughs> humping the wall. He's humping the wall. Huh. Humping wall. <laughs> okay. And that it's kind of weird that they put the animation for for going against the wall as that. You know, put your hand against the wall when you probably go against it in real life, but. Seriously, he had to like turn all the way around and look like he was humping it. 
Jeez. Also, one thing before I leave again. Not only can you get hurt, you can see the bottom left in the corner is your hearts. Like Zelda, you get three hearts. But, your ball can also pop. So, yeah. If your ball pops, then it's pretty much you have to start back at the last checkpoint. Anyways, that's it. That's it for the first part. I'm done. Bye, guys.